So there's a new glider bus on display in Liverpool city centre just outside of Mersey Travel headquarters. So I thought I'd take a little look. Now, this one is a little bit different from the last one you've seen. This one is all electric and it's from a different company. The other one you've seen was from Belfast and this one is from is it Spanish, it's a Spanish firm, Ayazar or something like that. From looking at the infrastructure at the moment and from past experience of driving these buses, uh, they didn't work the first time around the city centre, they were just too big for the roads. So anyway, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for all information regarding this um, bus. It's on display today, 10 till 4 or something like that. So I just thought I would drop down and do a follow-up video. So without further ado, let's go and see this new all-electric glider bus. Right, so I thought it'd be quite rude of me not to give you some information. So I've come here on Princess Dock. Never been up here before, just like a little elevated area. So, yeah, Liverpool City Region all electric glider to be tested on Regions City's roads this month. Vehicles carry 120 passengers, that's 30% more than a double decker bus. Fully operational system linking City Centre Airport and Football Stadia, targeted by 2028. So, a second rapid transport vehicle will begin road testing in the Liverpool City region this month as part of Mayor Steve Rodham's pledge to roll out a new fleet of high capacity gliders across the region by the end of 2028. So it's on loan from Spanish manufacturer ISR, 18 meter long battery powered vehicle wrapped in the region's metro livery or livery. Uh, follows last year's initial trial using a TransLink vehicle from Belfast, which you've seen. So the new test will see the vehicle operate on key commuter routes and it says further down so the gliders offer 30 percent more capacity than double decker buses with two sets of double doors to speed up boarding and the lighting features like level access and off vehicle ticketing are designed to reduce dwell time and improve journey times offering an attractive alternative to the car so fully integrated with the city region's wider public transport system, the new service will link with the bus, rail and active travel route funding as part of a record-breaking 1.6 billion transport settlement secured by the mayor from the national government. So route planning is already underway for phase one with links to Liverpool, John Lennon Airport, Anfield and the Hill Dickinson Stadium prioritised. Over time, the network can be extended or could be extended to other areas not currently served by the rail network, helping to better connect communities right across the region. So similar rapid transport already operates in Barcelona and Toronto and Los Angeles. So this is getting tested or trialed in the city for I think about a month. I'm about a weekend now. Anyway, let's leave this absolutely glorious setting. The live bears just behind me there. Princess Dock and the canal. Uh, she is. Right, let's have a little look around her before we go inside. So as you've seen with the other one, these uh, wheel coverings all over the bus. So there's quite a lot of people inside filming, media, so I'm just going to wait until they finished before I go inside. Someone getting interviewed there. So as you can see, the wrap covers the brand name. Future rapid transport for the Liverpool city region. So we're going to start at the back of the bus and just work our way down the middle to the cab because you can get in the cab. Just a little look at the back. So yeah, the last one you've seen was in the same place. This is where they showcase all the buses. There's been a few here in the past few weeks and months. Um, and it's the latest unveiling. <clears throat> and you got these cameras as well. I think the last one had mirrors. Um, now this has got the middleless system on and the digital um, wing mirrors. 
Right, let's go inside and have a look. Right, we'll start up here. So do you wait until... All the heads have come out now. Must be dinner time. Right, so, um, let me see, I can't remember the last bus. Uh, it be pretty similar, I think. That's what we do. What do you anticipate to when I Basically, Middle of the bus. Obviously, we have USB charging. Just to see it, a bit of. Right, so that basically is just it. So we're going to take a look at the cab area in a minute. And then we'll wrap things up, I think. Yeah, brown. What are these like? Suede. Is it? No, they're not, they're not leather. They're fake leather then. Sable there, there as well. It wouldn't work, would it? No, no. Right, I think we will take a little look around the cab. I think we need to ask someone though first. Or should we just have a look in here maybe? I don't know. Could I have a look in the cab? Is it okay? Cheers, thanks mate. That sounds quite heavy. Isn't it? Righty-ho. So, oh, sitting down my bag on my back here. Not good. Oh yeah, we've got a uh, fancy window here. Wow! I'll just do that because when press that button back and shoot back Righty-ho, so it's all electric as you know. Um, I'm assuming that's a panic alarm. Uh, you've got your heating controls, handbrake. Uh, I'll brake. Uh, that'll be master and ignition. Uh, master, yeah, and ignition and start. Lights. Blowers, which don't last long because yours get ripped off. Various lights, uh, trafficators or indicators, steering wheel, gears, and your raise and lower for the platforms. And then these controls are for the doors. So open, close, open, close, which will be front of the bus and the back of the bus. Automatic, as you've just seen. So just two pedals, accelerate and brake. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to show you. Obviously a bit of anti-glare thing there for the sun. Is that for destinations, is it, I think? Um, I don't know what that's for. What's that for? Music? Um, and various other controls, which, you know, um, I don't know what they're for. But obviously you've got your wing mirrors inside the cab, which are there. And these must be other ones as well, like for the maybe the back or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the cab. And the guy said if you press that button, that window will shoot back up, so we won't press that one. And what was that button there? Righty ho, let me see, it's all in. So the driver gate must be in a closed position for any movement of the bus. But the guy just said then the cab is quite heavy. So I should imagine it's all this glass and all the electronics which are inside here maybe, I don't know, all inside here I should say. So I'm going to ask him, can I maybe put that window up and um, see what he says. What's this here just before we go? What's that? Oh that must be an announcement thing. Oh yeah, it's a microphone, yeah. Yeah, microphone. Seat adjusters. Nice floor. I recently put that down in my house. You've got another pedal over there as well, which I forgot to mention. Probably, I don't know. They used to have them back in the day to do the doors on the floor. So we don't have to ask the thing. And there's the seat. Nice big, comfy, chunky seat there. So, yeah, we're just going to have a little look now. 
around the uh, thing of the bus. Thanks for that, mate. Oh, yeah, it's gone up quite fast. Take it out of that. What's this here? Smart blinds. Probably an advertisement for blinds. Yeah, just various. Probably to advertise for other people who come here today. So, yeah, quite a lot of media here today. Uh, quite a lot of whoever they are, I don't know. So I'm just going to take one more walk up this bus and then we'll uh, call it a day. There's the middle there, the bendy bit. But you're actually standing like you've seen before. So there's a couple of people here before, so I'll just show you this little area. Pram area, fold down seats. Backrest as well. And I'll just say that we're just curves, just like that. Destination announcer, probably. And then this little bit here, I forgot what it's called now. Bit that turns when you move. And then just back into the front of the bus, just there, and as you see the disabled area where we were before. Now, so there's one thing I haven't seen before on a bus, and it's that. So it's the same pretty much as a train. Maybe that's like an emergency stop or something like that. Something else. I can't work out what it is. It's these springy little things here. Does it seem to do nothing? Right. Thought it might have been a recliner, but no, it's not. With that pole there, so. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to wrap that up, I think. Not much to show you. Yeah, other than, you know what you've already seen hope you've liked that video and um, if you're new around here please consider subscribing uh, drop a like and a comment below and i'll catch you all in the next one